Hey guys, it's Hannah here, and this is my sister Erin. Hi. Most of you guys probably know who she is, but she hasn't been in a video in a while, so she thought she'd come and say hello. That's indeed why I'm here. <laughs> I went to the Glamour Affair event in Sydney today and I will have a vlog up, I'm not sure whether it will be before or after this, all about that, but I kind of wanted to go through the humongous goodie bag that they gave us and just kind of show you what I got, not to brag about it, but so that you guys know what I have, so if you guys want specific reviews or tutorials using particular products or yeah, mostly reviews on particular products, let me know in the comments down below and Erin's here because she just kind of felt like it. Yeah. Woo! Alright, so let's get started. There was like a humongous number of bags oh. and I am not going to be keeping all of this. I will be giving things away sporadically. So just keep an eye out because who knows when I'm going to be giving stuff away because I don't know. That's what sporadic means. Isn't that at random mm. intervals? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> First thing, um, all these were like donated as far as I'm aware, so thank you to the amazing companies who did participate. The first thing is the Thousand Hours Black Brown Eyelash and Brow Dye Kit. So, apparently it's waterproof. I don't know, I haven't really looked I into yeah, that I yet. In theory it sounds really like interesting if you want to, you know, do that, but I mean, that really scares the heck out of me. <laughs> the thought of... Like I can dye my hair, can't really. I don't like dyeing my eyelashes. Yeah, that will kind of scare me a bit. Like even eyelash tinting itself, it's scary. Yeah. Warning: This is going to be a really long video because yeah. we're super chatty and there's a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Next is by the company Bliss, and it is the fabulous foaming face wash. This is a two-in-one gentle cleanser and exfoliator. It's a little travel size there. And next is ooh in my bag of goodies. I have like three bags of stuff, so it's going to be interesting. Can I show all those ones? Sure, but we're going to show those ones first, I think. Okay. The C Dell Conditioning Foam with Argan Oil. Which is probably very good for your hair, because that's probably why they put uh, Argan, Argan Oil. oil. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Eric. So that's like a, is that like a leave-in conditioner, dry I'm conditioner? I'm not sure. I haven't really in looked theory. into it. Like, yeah, you keep going this was like actually just today, so. There is a thing of impulse. In illusions, that's what we're gonna feel. It. It's really not, so we're gonna have to do this in bundles. <laughs> then there is the Jergens Daily Moisture Hydrates and Soothes for improved texture for visibly smoother skin. Dermatologist tested, and I know this is available at Priceline. Ooh, Priceline! Ooh. Then there is an Inoxa Invisible Lip Shaper, which I'm pretty sure is just a clear lip liner. Then there is the Bow Beauty Lip Lacquer. Bow Beauty actually had a speaker there, Sammy. She was incredible. She's one of the um, co-founders, I believe. Or she's like one of the like creative people. I don't know. I'm really smart at this. <laughs> but the Ice Maiden Lip Lacquer is the one that I got. Then there is the... Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Refreshing and Refining Moisturiser. The Antipodes, Antipodes, Antipods, I don't know, totally butchering that, sorry. Um, Apostle Skin Brightening Serum. And then the last one in this bag is the Racine, 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 Racine Ultimate Hydro Perfection, Ultimate Defense Illuminating Cream. So that looks, so it's a grape cell. Crepe, callus and seaweed extract antioxidant cream. Mm -hmm. So that is the first bag of random goodies. Uh, let's start go with the big oh, one. Yeah, good idea. And get that one kind of out of the way because this is going to be a really, really long. Okay. <laughs> Hannah got a calendar. <laughs> it's a Mary Kay calendar that was at everyone's table. A Mary Kay calendar. She also got a little sign that said Hannah. Yeah, it was cute. And a little name tag and everything. Um, there's a couple of... So one of the major sponsors was Rose Hip Plus, which is an Australian company focusing obviously on rose hip oil. Yeah. So here's the hydrating day cream, the nourishing night cream, and the Australian... wait. 
Rose hip oil. The cold press rose hip oil. And there is one more in there if you can find it. Oh, it's this little one here. Yes. It's the roll on rose hip oil skin. So this is the full set. So they gave us a full set of their skincare range. I'm really excited to try this out. I'm going to just mention this before I forget and just leave it sitting here. Lush was also one of the big um, sponsors and they actually were there. And one of the things, there's a couple more in one of the bags they gave was massage bars. This is a new pearl one and it smells like rose jam. It smells like roses, yeah. Really nice. Um, and they like gave us little massages. It was very, very nice. Next is Shanghai Suzy, which may I just say, I didn't know how to had, and they smelled delicious. So, so yes. Erin didn't know I already had Shanghai Suzy yeah. lipsticks. Am I opening them? Uh, yeah. So that one won't swatch these yeah. because they're a bit midnight. That one's midnight. So this one's midnight, and it's a matte black. This one's goldy, and it's a sheer metallic brown, like a light gold kind of. I said it was kind of like the color of like when you put milk in your coffee. I think it's quite gold. Um, Dove, which is a matte grey. That would be really cool to play with, I think. And emerald, which is a shimmery emerald, oh, <laughs> as the name suggests. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> what's probably, next that you can find? We're probably going to do this way too I know. Okay, this is the, we took the tag off it. Uh, Revo, the watermelon lip balm, and it's basically like an EOS, but it smelled so really, really good. And I definitely want more of these because the smell alone is just incredible. Okay, let me talk about these guys. So, and Bachi was there. They've got a um, couple of skincare items. They gave us, the first thing they gave us was this um, trio of the, um, it's all not tested on animals. It's all, or, I'm pretty sure it's all organic. But the key ingredient is um, grape stem cell, so it gave us the gel cleanser, the rejuvenating essence, and the essential cream, all with grape stem cells in it. What's next? Um, back to Lush, we have, we actually have two of these, but I couldn't find the other one. I'm sure we'll find it soon. It's the American Cream Hair Conditioner, which we'll probably need because we like conditioning our hair. Yeah, I'm going to say, I want to smell it. Does it smell American? I don't know. Vanilla, strawberry vanilla milkshake. That doesn't sound, smell like a strawberry vanilla milkshake. I can smell like the milkiness, but... <laughs> That's because it looks like milk. <laughs> um, this is the Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. So this they used in their demonstration as well. So after you use the massage bar, you dust this all over just so you get that matte finish, but you still get the oil, like, bar. Yeah, so it doesn't feel slimy. Yeah, the bud is still absorbed into the skin. So that yeah, it's really nice. It's the Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion, our number one Lush product. This one smells nice and fresh. Do you want to smell this one? Ooh. I'm just grabbing a couple of times. Uh, this them. one's Erin's favourite so far. The mini Batiste dry shampoo. I mean, ever since I cut my hair short, dry shampoo has been one of those things you really need. Like, I'm telling you guys. We go through dry <laughs> shampoo so often in the household. Yeah. Like, we were saying this will last, like, two days. If we're yeah. <laughs> not even kidding. I could probably use that all in one go on my hair. And I don't have very much hair. Um, this is the 11 Australian Miracle Hair Treatment. Which, we also like hair treatments because we like... Go ahead. Hair. Hair. Um, Dee from DK Australia was there. And she said she really likes this. So, I'm pretty excited to try this. You can say that because it's not in English. <laughs> um, so, I can't remember what the company, like, the actual, like, mother brand is, but um, the brand who um, exports Uria, Bioderma, and Nyx was there. So you should probably get those things out if you can find them. The what? <coughs> the Uria, the, the um, Bioderma, and the Nyx. Um, and they had one of their makeup artists come in and show how you can like use your skincare and your like with your makeup application. The first thing they gave us was the Uriage Thermal Water. And apparently this is really good at setting these uh, makeup as well as obviously working as a thermal water. I recommend that we talk about the nuke stuff later because I can't find it. <laughs> 
it's a very tiny bottle of uh, mixed dry oil, which will be nice to try. Um, they make Easy Biodoma H2O micellar solution. So this is for the sensitive dehydrated skin, which I have, so I'm very excited to try this. I've never actually tried the blue top version. Which would you like to talk about? Um, well, we got the Buddy Scrub. Hey, gorgeous, I'm your Kakao, your friend with benefits, Body Scrub. So it's uh, all natural, cruelty free, chemical free body scrub. So, this is kind of all the rage the coffee scrubs, the yeah, the hair scrubs, all of that. So, natural. this is a um, Ski Me Tea 8 Day Tea Tox, which is the colon cleanse for your colon. Which I'm interested to try because, like, Skinny Me Tea is like really big at the moment. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, just pick up anything. I'm trying to oh, yeah. do all the same. Okay, stuff. so Mary Kay, you may want to open some of that actually. I'm getting there. Um, had a fair few of their products actually in there. The first is this Hue Dimensions powder, and the first thing that I think when I open this, so I got this out. This wow. is in the um, Chiffon Natural. So I'm not sure if this is meant to be like a face powder or whatever, but basically I'm going to use it as a bronzer because I'm a white as anything. If I can open it. But basically, I thought of the MAC in extra dimension, basically. It's like that gel -A formula, and it's just a nice, glowy, bronzy colour for me, at least. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on camera, but it's a really pretty um, colour, and it's, yeah, sheer, so you can build it up. It's not overly glittery on the skin Ooh. either, which is nice. They have the Mary Kay lip lacquer, which came with a little lip, lip brush. Lip That's brush. Cute. They have a shade chai latte. So let's okay. just take things out of the packaging. Let's do it. So this is a, a nice nudie color. Oh, we're fond of nudie color here. It's more of a sheer gloss though. Oh, yeah. Not quite a lot of colour there. This is the mineral eye colour. It looks like it has three shades and it's in the like garden sky. It's the name of the trio, I guess. Trio, yeah. And it's a strange packaging that comes in. Yeah. Oh, but it's like a pan so you can pop it in like a Z palette or something, which is actually really smart. It comes with a blue, a kind of gold and a green. So let's do a quick swatch of that. Mm, not too bad, I'm not too bad. Not too bad at all. The green's actually really pretty. Yeah. We have the Mary Kay Nail Lacquer in, it had the name somewhere. Blue Lotus, which I am keen to test out. Look at that beauty. Obviously, give it a shake. Mm. Very pretty colour. Um, I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried any yeah, Mary Kay uh, products. I, I've heard about Mary Kay lots, I've never, ooh. And then the Mary Kay Nail Lacquer in Ginseng Blossom. Just like yeah, a, it's a pretty like peachy colour. Yeah. What is this? Looks like a, just a little pouch. What? Oh, something tiny. Everything's just throwing out and throw it at the bin. Oh, it's so cute. Like a little brush roll kind of thing. That's cute. And it's got like Japanese blossom flowers. The last Mary Kay, I think. It's in this bag. Yeah. Is the mini moisture renewing softener and gel mask, which is just obviously little face products, which I assume are masks and like a toner. I think the yeah looks like it. Oh, dry I to dry to oily skin, Ooh. suitable for sensitive skin. Morning, mo morning and night moisten cotton ball and apply. And then that one's again dry to massage, generous layer of mask to cleanse skin. Leave on for ten minutes. Rinse off. And what I learned from this is that no matter if you think you've got all the stuff from a brand, you don't. <laughs> See, we have the Lush liquid lipstick. Is that what you said it was? I don't know what it's like. Called. A lip. It doesn't have a name on it. That's no, no, that's the thing. But it's in the color Decisive. I assume that's what that is. Yeah, liquid lipstick. Yeah. Um, apparently this is one of their only matte colours. It's a really pretty matte blue based red. It's gorgeous. If they have more of these matte shades, I'll definitely be picking some up because it stayed really nicely until I ate it off. Again from Enbachi is the detoxifying clay mask because we get clogged skin. So detoxifying is pretty good for us. Yeah. <laughs> skin masks. Skin masks. 
face masks, hair masks, all that stuff, we're all up for that. Um, also what we're up for, the What Not Natural Organic Facial Wipes. We like good, gentle, not a lot of chemical. We both have super sensitive skin, yeah. it runs in the family, so <laughs> natural and organic is what works, yeah, yeah. Words we're very fond of. For oily and sensitive skin, oh. perfect. Ooh. Okay, then there is, again from Antipose, the Grapeseed Butter Cleanser. This really intrigued me, because it's like a, like an, like a cleansing balm almost, and you guys know how much I love my Napoleon um, cleansing balm, so I was keen to try this. So, yeah, it looks very, very similar to the Napoleon cleansing balm, except it has bigger chunks. Like, yeah, chunks. <laughs> Um, this is the Paulish Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Salicylic Acid, um, which I assume it's just like a toner. I read the instructions and it said use after a toner, but I mean, I don't really... If it has salicylic acid in it, I imagine you don't want to use it with too much to over. Yeah, so I think it's more of like a blemish. Reduces redness, builds collagen, yeah. unclogs and diminishes so. enlarged pores, and creates radiant even skin tone, so... And it's an exfoliant, apparently. Oh. Yeah, because so it's got BHA, so it's an acid. So you need to apply this at night. <laughs> Bag of mints. Does this have, like, a brand? Yelp. Dot com. Oh, Yelp. So they sent a lip balm, too, oh. which is in somewhere. So there was a Yelp lip balm as well. The Skindinavia Makeup Finishing Spray, which, may I just say, Skindinavia, what a beautiful pun. Like, I'm a pun kind of woman, and Scandinavia have done it right. Dad's Scandinavia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Font of Scandinavia. So, yeah. But Scandinavia makes Urban Decay Saving Sprays, and you guys know I'm in love with the all-nighter, so keen to try this. It's a super tiny bottle, though, so I'm not sure how long that's actually going to yeah, last. Yeah, got sparingly. The Revita Nail Keratin Strengthening Serum for... Your nails. My nails are like super mm -hmm. breaking at the moment. Oh, Can't stop from hiccuping, but it's going to be. Mm -hmm. This is Hannah's favourite. <laughs> this is a... well, it's not my favourite. It's something I'm very intrigued yeah, to try. It's... Yeah. Zasni. Yeah, Zasni. Zasni Carrot Tan Jam 100% Natural Sun Tanning Balm. Now, besides the fact that it's the middle of winter over here <laughs> in sunny whatever country we live in. Australia, which is where this event was held. <laughs> Sydney, Australia. <laughs> where it's cold. Very cold. And you don't really want to be out in the sun because it isn't really much sun. It's just rain. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> rain. Like, I mean, wait six months and we'll test that out and see if we smell like carrots. Yeah, the, the whole carrot thing is kind of scaring me, but hey... Who knows? Is that the last one? No, this one. Oh my gosh, there's still so much. And then we've still got a whole other bag. Next is the Pure Sonic Neo um, Skin Cleanser. We have lovely lilac. And this is obviously, it's like yoga for your face. <laughs> um, obviously kind of very similar to the um, Clarisonic, all those kind of deep cleansing, vibrating things. Rush. Head the ones against the skin skin um, contains a pure so neo standard, a gentle brush head for sensitive skin, two double A battery instruction manual, and a one year warranty. And you can buy additional brush heads, replace brush head every 90 days for best results. So, I'm guessing this is sold at like Priceline or something because that's what Dee was saying. So, yeah, and I'm glad we got like the purpley light to kick up, <laughs> it's super freaky. <laughs> Next. Ooh, let's okay. try and find somewhere in this space to put stuff. Friend, everyone should know, this is the body shop. We have one of their little, it almost looks like one of their Christmas packaging sets, which I mean, I have no problem with that. <laughs> we do like the body shop. It's Christmas all time around. This is the, has the strawberry shower gel and the strawberry body puree with a little red loofah. And then just their packaging is so cute. <laughs> and it smells so good. And it's like kind of a bit late at night for me. <laughs> Is that the last thing? No. Oh my god. There's little things at the bottom. Far out. Oh my 
gosh, there's so much stuff. Like, we're writing, we're seriously. Yeah, there's no space. room left on the table. <laughs> uh, next, we have the Dirty Works mini luxury set, which contains the bath soap, the body lotion, the body scrub, and the body wash. And I'm so thankful that it has all the things written on the back because I've taken about five. So we have body scrub, body wash, body lotion. And bath soak. And Eric made a really good point of what these look like. Like the soap and glory. Yeah, so they look like the soap and glory. I wonder if they smell like it. Yeah, I was going to say, because when I saw the box, I didn't realise it was dirty works. I actually thought it was soap and glory. It does smell very soap and glory. Glory. I don't know, it's fine by me. Well, Shea and Cocoa Butter, which is obviously like... <laughs> nice stuff. Nice stuff. So we're getting down to a little bit of the bottom of this bag. The bigger bag. Okay. Okay, again, keeping with the Bow Beauty, there is a. This is Bow Professional. So Bow Professional is there, but they do have the $2 Bow Beauty line as well. And this is the Pat Perfect Lip Cream in the shade Sunset. Pretty bright pink. Yeah. Deep bright pink. I don't know. Is the Thank You. I assume that's the brand name. One of those, like, give back to people ones. Um, antibacterial grapefruit hand sanitizer. I love the smell of grapefruit and so maybe I'll actually sanitize my hands. <laughs> I use hand, <laughs> hand sanitizer at work, so it's a little gonna take it? more thinking about it because I go through so much hand sanitizer. Okay, I got out the three benefit products and I mean, if you know me, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm an alright makeup person, but I have this thing for benefit. I just really love benefit. So we have a mini, they're real, I assume it's just the mascara. Yeah, it says mascara. It's just, it doesn't look like the mascara package. It's just a baby one. Yeah, so we've got a mascara, which is a great mascara. It is a great mascara. Yeah. The Professional License to Blot Instant Oil Blotting Stick, which I didn't know existed, but I mean, we like oil blotting. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell from our shiny noses that we're a little bit... Our oh, noses are shiny. It's not shiny, mine is, so... Okay. Yours is it. And then the new... Their real push up liner. It's one of the. Isn't it called the Killer Colors collection? I've heard all about it. It's the Beyond Brown, just so it's a brown liquid. Eyeliner. I seem to be one of the only ones that only. It's a gel liner, by the way. Gel liner, not. Sorry. I seem to be one of the only people that only got one of these. People got like brown and blue or brown and purple. Or, I don't know. I, I don't know. I like the push up liner, but. I don't know. If this is... You guys know I've been seriously after a really good brown eyeliner that's deep. So maybe... Maybe this will work for me and be my holy grail. Okay. i got it all on my lap now. We have two Rimmel 60 second nail polishes in Ringer Ringer Ring O Rose. <laughs> Ringer Ringer Roses. Which is a little baby pink which I quite like. They're pretty. They're pretty. Very spring. And blackout, which I'm very happy about because I don't need it. Our one. black nail polish is like dead. <sighs> Sticking on the, or do we stick with the Rimmel or with the nail polish? Like, there's so many ways. Let's just go with this one. This is a Rimmel Scandalized Precision Micro Eyeliner, which is a very thin tipped eyeliner in black. And waterproof, so that's waterproof. Really cool. We love waterproof things. Here. Then there is the Oh My Gloss by Rimmel in the shade. Pin up! So pretty bright pink colour. Okay, now there's a bunch of random little things. We have the Yelp Stick Lip Balm, which I stuck on my nose by accident. <laughs> it smells pretty good though. Yeah, now my nose smells good. Um, Bow Beauty, Bow Professional, I keep saying Bow Beauty. Bow Professional Big Kiss Lip Gloss in the shade Manhattan, which is a nice ready colour. Um, this is the Bow Beauty Nail Enamel in, you don't have a name, Glitter Frosting Nail Enamel. And these are like two bucks, so that's cool. cool. Here's the one that you're looking for. Let's keep with the bow. Keeping with the bow, I got a little bow memory card, which is cool, because, I don't know, people need more memory cards. Yeah. And a 3D Glisten Sparkle Diamond Finish in the shade Lipstick in the shade Venus, which is a bright pink. Bright pink. And then there is a little Nukes Dry Oil, which I'm very excited to try. This is the 
Can I just call it Mama? Yeah, Mama. It stands for something. Kind Ministry of... of Mineral Makeup Australia. And it's a lipstick, and you don't need to line it up that high. It's kind of like a brown. What's the name, Erin? It's a good question. Plum Allure. The packaging's pretty cute. Yeah, I like okay. that. And then, also my favourite. Can you have two favourites? Of course you can. <laughs> the Elegant Touch Express Press on Instant Manicure Black Fake Nails. Erin loves fake nails. I love fake nails. I love black nails. Can we start popping that all back in the bag? Let's do this. Well, I talked about the Clear Eyes by Murine Gentle Cleansing Wipe. So this is optimal recommended to get kind of the gunk and residue from around your eyes. So I, I have super sensitive eyes because of my glasses and even like contacts can really irritate my eyes sometimes. So, oh my goodness, hiccups. But, yeah, so, yes. Final bag. Final bag while Erin gets... Oh my this goodness. This is so dangerous. So much stuff. <laughs> oh! I have mine. Just the nails. Thanks, the okay. Nails. First is the Premium Spa Australia SLS Moisture Balm. <laughs> Moisture Balm in frangipani and coconut. This blend of deeply nurturing essential oils and extracts help hydrate, smooth and nourish skin all over. With certified organic macadamia oil. Mm. So there is that. Then there is the Elucent anti aging set with a cleanser, moisturizer, and night moisturizer. Well, you don't want to look too old anytime soon. So, since the number of card was full, and then the battery died, we were at. <laughs> oh, beauty! Eyeshadow Duo in Summer Kiss, which is a pink and a kind of peach. Then there is two Rimmel lipsticks. One from the Kate line in 37, which is an orange. And then one from the Moisture Renew in 517 Mayfair, La Mayfair Red Lady, which is obviously a red. Then there is Ooh! philosophy. Rest in peace, philosophy. Rest in peace, philosophy. Little no. Time in a bottle. And age defy cream. Which came in a cute packaging that Hannah just destroyed. Shh. It's all better now. The Carmex Moisture Plus Pink Sheer Tint Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm. We all about that lip balm. The yeah, Enbachi Microdermabrasion Exfoliating Scrub. We all about that exfoliating scrub. The Soda and Co Lip Balm in Orange Splash. The Revive Sugar Free Energy Strips. A packet of Hydrolyte Electrolyte Tablets. A set from Wax Away that has some. Um, Waxy stuff. Wax strips, uh, aftercare, and a bump, anti bump, a bump eraser for ingrown hairs. That's all you need to wax. And a Face of Australia Lasting Looks Lip Cream in Coral On, which is an orangey coral colour. Now that we have finally made it all through that, <sighs> there was a whole lot of stuff. That was a long, long That was a long haul. So was... much stuff. I think Erin's about to head to sleep and so am I. It also came with little oh, oh. press clippings from all of the companies. Um, just want to say thank you to Melissa Bubbles and Phoebe's Beauty Blog um, for hosting the event and organising it. It was an incredible time. Um, as I said, leave comments down below on what you guys want reviews on or tutorials with with the makeup. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click subscribe, the button's right here. It'll keep you up to date on all my videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, Bye. guys.